Pat O'Loughlin, President and CEO of Ohio's Electric Cooperatives. Welcome to your cooperative's annual meeting and thank you for attending what is a unique and foundational part of our cooperative history in Ohio. Neighbors like yourselves coming together for over 80 years to bring reliable and affordable electricity to the homes and businesses in your community. Looking back on 2022, it was a year that brought many challenges. We saw extreme volatility in fuel prices. We saw high inflation for nearly everything we buy, fuel, materials and supplies, equipment, vehicles, wages, you name it. We experienced extreme supply chain disruptions that resulted in long lead times for electrical equipment. And finally, we experienced severe weather events that caused widespread grid disruptions. Ohio's Electric Cooperatives performed well at keeping the lights on, making repairs when outages did occur, and holding cost increases to a minimum. So while electric bills have increased over the past year, after several years of stable rates, co-ops across Ohio are taking every step available to keep costs as low as possible. In 2022 and 2023, our mission has not changed, and our commitment to you, our members, has not wavered. But the reality is that providing a safe, reliable, affordable, and environmentally responsible supply of electricity is getting more and more challenging. Across the country, we are facing disorderly retirement of baseload coal and nuclear power plants, stemming from poorly conceived and harmful energy policies. These include overreaching and unreasonable environmental regulations that result in high costs but minimal environmental benefits, poorly designed market rules that undercompensate reliable baseload power plants that provide a steady and controllable output, while overcompensating less reliable and intermittent energy sources. Also, unreasonable goals and timeframes to achieve greater reductions in carbon emissions are causing problems. I want to share with you our reality here in Ohio. As recently as 2009, Ohio had 21 coal-fired power plants capable of producing over 22,000 megawatts of electricity. Later this year, we will have four remaining plants and less than 7,000 megawatts of capacity. Many of the plants that closed had recently completed major environmental upgrades, only to be met with another series of more challenging and expensive environmental requirements. Some of these plants have been replaced with modern natural gas fired plants and large solar installations. But we have greatly reduced our capability to produce electricity, especially during periods of severe cold weather like we experienced this past Christmas. On December 23rd to 25th, the grid operator for our region, PGM Interconnection, used all emergency steps available stopping just short of ordering rolling blackouts to stabilize our regional power grid. Just to our south, in Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, and parts of several other states, rolling blackouts were required to keep the system from collapsing. We've seen similar events in recent years in California, Texas, and even right here in Columbus, Ohio last summer. The integrity of our national and regional electric grid is at risk and will only get better if we make a change in course. Reliable, affordable, environmentally responsible power is our commitment to you, and you should expect it to be our government's commitment to you as well. Ohio Electric Cooperatives are making that known to our elected officials in Washington, D.C. and here in Ohio, with the help of our National Association of Rural Electric Cooperatives. Ohio Electric Cooperatives have launched our own statewide campaign that we call REAL focused on the importance of reliable, environmentally responsible, affordable power for local communities. We are working to educate and inform not only cooperative members, but your neighbors and all Ohioans that reliable power and the integrity of America's electrical grid must be a priority. We ask for your help as cooperatives. This is what we do best. Come together for a common cause for the good of all. So I ask you, talk to your neighbors, educate and inform them. It's hard to understand or imagine the critical situation that we are in. And we've reached a time where something needs to be done. 
I'm sure all of you have heard the voices pushing for a carbon-free environment. Of course, we all want a cleaner world for future generations, and we're getting there, as emissions of all types have been reduced dramatically over the past several years. But we should not, and need not, sacrifice reliable and affordable power today. The history of your electric cooperative can be our guide. It was founded when neighbors, working together to bring electricity to their rural community. Today, it's about working together to keep that reliable and affordable electricity on all day, every day, especially when severe weather hits your community. Thanks for your participation in your cooperative's annual meeting today and for your support to help us get this right for today and for tomorrow.